Monday. It is, I don't know my watch on, 10 o'clock. I spent the more I got up this morning. I had a bacon and egg sandwich. I cleaned up the house. I journaled. So what else did I do? Did my hair, put a little bit of makeup on. I'm still in a hoodie. So I didn't vlog last week because I just had a busy week. There was a bit going on. And I was like, I'm not going to vlog. So I'm doing a day in the life of a law student. Um, and we're preparing for my last week of classes for the year. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do uh, the summer semester yet. Um, might, might not. I don't know what I'm going to do if I do do it. So I have to work that out. But I'm just going to get through these exams first. And then I'll make my decision. So, yeah. Um, I hope you like this. Um, so hopefully, you know, it inspires, hopefully it inspires you to get productive. Um, and yeah, a couple of things I just want to touch on. Has everybody listened to the new MGK album? Because if you haven't, go and listen to it. It's so fucking good. My probably my favorite songs, if we're looking at the album totally, like with even with the singles that he released, I would probably say my favorites are Bloody Valentine, ex's, my ex's best friend, and Jawbreaker. They're probably my favorites. Probably. Most likely. Otherwise, I really like Kiss Kiss, Drunk Face, um, lo Lonely, really. Like, I think I prefer Lonely to play this when I'm gone. But Lonely is really good too. Um, and I just loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> and the two interludes are so good. The Kevin and Barracuda one, so funny. But I don't know how, I think it's Banyan, Banyan Tree. Banyan Tree, is how you would say it. But the interlude he did with Megan Fox. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was her. Oh my God. You know how everyone's like, that song, like, I wish I were Heather. No, no, no. I wish I were Megan. Like, I wish I was Megan. Me Megan? 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 Whatever. The Fox. I wish I was the Fox. She's got the life. I just, yeah, no. It is so unfair. Oh, another update. I got, I ordered this from Amazon. I got a stand for my monitor and I put it like directly in front of me. It is like a little, it's a wooden one. I've got the black hardware and it's also a little indoor bookshelf. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is my stand. It's a little bit messy right now, but like I've got all my journals and diaries here. Um, and then, yeah, and then I've got like my little manifestation spray, my, um, What's that called? A pen holder and just a plant. And then I've got my monitor, my stand, and I sort of shove my iPad, my laptop, my mouse underneath here. This is my like, cord holder. So my cords don't fall down. And then this is a little bit of a mess. I've just got like my to-do list and my diary there, but my diary can fit it over here. I've got plenty of space, but I've just put it there for now because I was using it. Here I've just chucked some random sheets. I've just got like a, um, a focus spray you can see that yeah it's like a focus not spray it's like a, like a little roller um so yeah it's from doTERRA i've got a hair clip my airpods a pen just shoved in there and some pawpaw -paw because i don't know anything about pawpaw -paw. these are my glasses my tarot cards and just some hand cream shoved on here that's my new setup i really like it my ipad my laptop sort of sits off to the side when i use it um, and it's great. It means I'm not like leaning down. I am going to get some sort of stand for my, I am going to get some sort of stand for my laptop. I just don't know what I want yet. Whether I want something that I can't type on, whether I get a keyboard as well, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, we just don't want to ruin our necks. My mom has now got some sort of scoliosis in her neck because she just leans down too much and just leans forward. Do I need to have good posture? Even though I've got terrible posture. So I try to make sure I have good posture. So yeah, I'm gonna get cracking into some work. I've got to get some content done, like some last of last week's content because I finished my last assignment last week and I handed that in on Friday. Well, one of our group members handed that in on Friday. So that was taking up a lot of my time because it was like a lot of work. Um, so I did that last week. So I've got to do some lectures from that week. I don't have much to do. And then it's week 11. We've got a Q&A tonight.
at our exam for one of my units. So I've got to read, we've already been supplied with the case study that we're doing for the exam. Um, so I'm going to read that later and then I'm going to go to the Q&A. I think it's on Zoom at like 7.30. So that's that. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this is quite a complex area of constitutional law. Uh, has it been historically enough? Thanks for coming. Um, but to summarize, um, to determine whether there is any consistency, ask yourself these questions. So, is there a valid number of common states? And what territory of the state that appears to exist? Um, remember, if it's uh, not valid, uh, then it's not for a valid number of common states. What is the other law or operation according to its terms? Um, the number of all to interpret uh, the common state laws to actually ascertain the law. You can't know whether there is any consistency at all to know how they are intended to operate. Okay, and then ask yourself if that exists. Is there a correct consistency? down I just I don't want to have lunch it's one o'clock and I don't know what to eat like I don't know if I should eat a sandwich oh it's a bit of exposure a little bit better oh now you can't see me okay maybe it's, oh, it's a bit dreary today it's a bit gross um honestly I don't know what to eat like I'm really hungry. This is my problem every day. I just never know what to eat. I cut up a salad. I've got some fish. Yeah, I'm gonna cup a salad. I've got some fish fingers. They're not great, but they need to go because I just don't want them in the house. Um, so I'm gonna cook those in the oven. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. And have some edamame. I think it's a good idea. Also while we're here, we're gonna like put my cold brew into my cold brew thing. I'm making cold brew last few weeks. I bought this from Aldi. So if anyone, has an Aldi near them, go to Aldi. This is like 20 bucks. It's just a French press. You can use hot or cold coffee. Um, it's not a very big one. So I've done it in like two batches. So like I've already used like a cup out of this. So I'm gonna put what's left in these into that. So yeah. <laughs> Left, but like I'll just leave it in this and I can drink that tomorrow. But I have a full jug of cold brew. Um, so I just leave, I just put like a cup of coffee grounds in here. I use a dark roast, just an Aldi brand, a dark roast, and I put a cup of it and then I just fill the rest of it with water um, to just like underneath where that would, like just underneath there. I let it sit for about, I don't know. 16 hours ish. Like I let this I made like last night about 9 a.m. and now it's one o'clock and I've just let it sit that whole time. So yeah, that's how I do it. And then I've got cold coffee. Like I so a lot of the time I use like espresso espresso. Like I'll use a double espresso from the um coffee machine. Then I'm just going through them so fast and I gotta wait for them to cool, put them on a lot of ice. This way, like I get the really, really strong coffee and I get a lot a lot of it. Um and it works for me. I only started doing this last week and I really like it. I've had cold brew coffee from Gloria Jeans, but it just, it's just not it. It's not that good. It's really, it's like a watered down long black. I'm like, that's not cold brew. So this is really strong. If you like strong coffee, it's good. Um, so yeah, try that for all you coffee fiends.
there is honestly nothing I hate more than when a lecturer lectures for way too long without taking a break or taking a breath. I'm just like, my head hurts. So I'm about to start my land lecture, my land law lecture. It's three hours long. He'll probably start talking at some point during this. It's a three hour long lecture and he takes a couple of breaks, but it just goes forever. Him and my employment law, oh no, my employment law, my employment relations lecturer is a HR unit. She literally lectures for an hour and 50 minutes straight. Like literally straight. She does not take a break. And I just, drives me insane. But I'm just sitting here. I've printed out some book covers. And I'm going to put them into my life journal for 2020. Because I don't have much here because life's obviously been boring. I've marked out some spreads that I want to do. Um, I just haven't done it yet. I'll do it eventually. Um, but yeah, I just can't sit through three hours and just daydream. So I'm going to stick them in here when I put them in wherever I put them in and then leave space for the rest of the year. So cut them up. I'm sort of cutting them up quite small. They're like three centimeters by something. I put them into pages and I size them. Why is there no sound again? Well, I'll just stop that again because I just don't understand. And it did not refer to the um the. Not sure what's going on here. By the way, talking about caveatable interest. My hand is like the bane of my existence. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna cut those up and do that. My eyes really hurt today, but I feel like I just haven't stopped looking at this computer. Obviously, I haven't got out of my jumper. I don't even know where this jumper came from. I don't know whose it is. Yeah. Found it yesterday. My mom thinks it's my brother's. I, I have no idea. But it's mine now, and it just says, like, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Bronx, and Queens. I don't know. I don't know whose it is. don't know where it came from. But anyway, I'm going to go back to doing this. Okay, here to wrap up the vlog. This is slightly bad lighting. We are sitting down on the couch. Well, David's in the shower. And we're going to sit on the couch, watch a movie. I've got a ton of serums on my face. My glasses on so I can watch TV with my eye, without my eyes hurting. Um, I got a lot more done today than I originally thought I would, so which was great. So we're treating ourselves to watching some TV. Um, I hope you enjoyed this sort of day in the life. I didn't show you everything that I did, just because it's a bit boring, just sitting there watching me study. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of getting ready for my last week of classes for the year. Um, I'm gonna pick this vlog, like the weekly vlog up tomorrow. Tomorrow's David's birthday, so I might have some content of what I'm making for dinner, because I'm making something very exciting. Um, yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe with my empty juice bottle. Didn't realize that was there. Um, I hope you stay tuned and for the next vlog, and I hope you enjoyed this. Mm -hmm.